Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Ah, you're looking good. I'm gonna sing my song and it won't take long. We're gonna do the twist and it goes like this. Come on, let's twist again, like we did last summer. Yeah, let's twist again, like we did last year. Do you remember when things were really humming? Yeah, let's twist again, twisting time is here. And round and round and up and down we go again. Oh, Cakey, make me know you love me so. And then, oh, oh, let's twist again, like we did last summer. Come on and twist again, like we did last year. <laughs> if you're still here, <laughs> if you didn't click off the video, hello, how are you today? <laughs> I could not resist the temptation of singing that song when it comes to taking keikis off and potting them up because that's what we're going to do here today. I have my Dendrobium Berryoda. Let me get a little bit more serious. <laughs> I need a steady hand. Stop with the giggling. Focus, Nina. Anyway, we have a Dendrobium Berryoda here today. Look at these lovely jubbly roots. I would like to get them potted up. I'm going to update you on their predecessors of 2022, a video which I put out, what are the benefits of cutting keikis off as opposed to twisting, which is what I'm going to do today. I will link that video in the description for you. And then I also thought if my camera and everything doesn't heat up and cut out on me, <laughs> then I will say see you manana. But if all goes well with this video, I'm going to update you on the Aphilum keikis that are on the monster mount, the ones that we removed, where we did the cut the cane separation. And I have two keikis there that I would really like to also now incorporate onto that mount. So there's going to be a bit of a fiddle, a little bit of an update, and a lot of fun because I personally love removing keikis and starting new plants. And look at the size of them. I have four in total. The mother plant herself isn't impressing me much this year. <laughs> I've been cultivating the roots, the results that you can see here, they are gorgeous. Whereas uh, I forfeited a new growth because of that. Can you believe it? I am in Southern Spain and during the month of August, you would think that no matter what you do with your orchids, no matter how much water you splash on them, I lost a growth on a Dendrobium berry odor because of misting. And that just boggles my mind. Anyway, lesson learned. She hasn't impressed me this year because I only have another new growth. <laughs> just two. I was expecting five. But I only have another new growth, which survived the misting. It is tucked in there. So anyway, let's get the keikis off. Let's get them potted up. Because je suis excited. Mucho. <laughs> Once again, if you didn't click off after that intro, it's good to have you here. It's a bit of a noisy afternoon, as per usual in southern Spain during the month of August. So if I can't stop when something clangs behind me, I apologize for anything I can't edit out. Well, if you've made it through my singing, a bit of clanging is <laughs> not much difference. <laughs> Okay, I've got keikis to watch out for. Luckily, no roots really have grown into a leaf. When they do, I sacrifice the leaf to try to save the roots. And luckily, the roots themselves are also all growing in one direction, making this job a lot easier. Oh, here she comes. You need 360 degree vision for this. Oh, and there's a little new growth already, or is that another root? Okay, so I don't want to break the keiki at the top. That would be silly. And we'll just turn her around in the other direction and pull. Oh, a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Actually, it's the balsam. It's the eye drops. It's the visine for anything that could be a little bit on the dry side. This makes me weep with joy. Beautiful. Look at that. So if mama didn't impress me much, her keikis surely do. Right, that's one. And now I have an earworm alert. <laughs> now I feel as though I should be singing the song again. But this one is a little bit more complicado, me thinks, because check this out. Look at where the roots are going here. Did they make it into the leaf? 
I really washed my hands and my forearms today because, yep, they did. So you see, I'm gonna forfeit that leaf, which is not a problem, because we've got root tips right here. So I hope that's in focus because la soleil, the sun has priority. <laughs> so I lost my train of thought. Here, let's see if we can salvage these. I wonder, they're so flat up against, I might just lose those root tips. But yeah, this is a little bit more complicated. But I'm not gonna cut the cane off. I want this cakey to come off as is of it. Let's turn her around and see what we're up against. And I might speed everything up because I don't want to bore you with the fiddle. And those sped up sections can always be slowed down. Let's assess what we've got going on over here. Okay, I'm going to take this leaf off as well. Now we have a clear visual of what is going on and let's see if the root tips come with us. And if not, ah yes, I was saying I washed my forearms, I washed my hands of all the salt, perspiration and all that fun stuff, all that good stuff that happens during the warmer temperatures because if root tips touch all those areas, they will fail. Any kind of perspiration, anything like that, the roots will promptly fail because salt. So I hope <clears throat> that this process is going to be pretty straightforward and we've got all the root tips. <laughs> Never mind the sacrifice of two leaves. I was very fortunate to have most of my roots this year grow in one direction. I'm not talking about the rock band, but the direction of the root growth is in the same relationship with where the hedge is. So I've left her very close to the hedge to tease the roots towards the highest humidity area. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, we're gonna go in this direction. I don't see any roots that have grown into that leaf, so it is possible that we can hold on to it. I heard a little bit of a crunch. It's probably just the area where the keiki has severed. And instead of ripping her off, I'm gonna take a very sharp knife and then I'm just gonna try and sever it right here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, breathtaking. We've got some nice long roots, but they're growing down the cane. They're probably attached. Let's deal with those. Okay, and here you can see where I cut the cane off with the keiki attached last year. So that's this growth right here. This is super interesting how the keikis are attached. Do you see that right there? I think that is always so interesting. I know, I'm a little bit geeky like that. <laughs> there we go. And bring up that long root and see what always comes out that's where it's attached so cute I was about to talk to you with a wire in my mouth <laughs> that's not gonna go very well okay so what I try to do is bring the cakeys together with a flat side there's always a little bit of a flat side from where they were attached to the mother cane I try to create like a solid base that wasn't a new growth it's a new root you know, try to get them even also with how the roots grow because then they're all in the same height when it comes time to pot them up. Now, I like that already, so I'm going to secure this little grouping before they slip on me. Trisha's Orchid Life sent me this Velcro all the way from the USA because we don't get such fancy stuff here. Don't move on me. I busted one root tip here. 
and there's another one in the cluster that got squashed, unfortunately, and I think I touched two with my fingers, so there is salt on my fingers, unfortunately. We shall see. And as tradition would have it, as other cakeys have been potted up the same way, have done super well, it's going to be lava rock and semi-hydro. My little support isn't that tall, but there's no need to make another one for this project. So the only thing is to make sure that I've got it pointing as to where the holes are for the drainage, because I have not prepared a tag yet. That's something I will do. Date of removal of the keiki. Origin being ninja orchids. Just in case somebody calls dibs on them. Dry lava rock plus root tips. <laughs> Sensitive root tips. Yeah, that's not a good thing. So I'm going to add this RO water in here. And while it looks like I'm flooding it, the holes will drain it out. I need that buffer. And that was all a little too radical. I do not recommend that you copy what I just did. It should all be very gentle, easy placement of lava rock. It all slipped out in one go. Luckily, we put the water in. We may have lost some root tips because of that. Maybe they will stop growing, but we had the water, so I hope there was some aid there. A few moments later, <laughs> something's come up. I can't take off their film cakeys. I am so glad I didn't just twist them off because I was so tempted to do all the twisting in one go. I have got to go. I've got to leave the patio. So I'm going to cut this video short. We will do the Aphilum cakeys another day because they also need to get sewn onto the monster mount. But not before I just tell you what I did here. After my entire lava rock container collapsed on the root system here, which is no bueno, I removed all the lava rock that is, uh, kind of fell on the roots, hopefully to have salvaged some. I hope that they don't all decline. I also positioned the whole support a little bit more central. And as you can see, there is no water absorption at all at this point in time. It will take a couple of days, maybe a week, for the longer of the roots to start absorbing their own water. I did something very, very similar, and here is the result of that. These keikis have had <laughs> their own growth spurt. Not only did they continue to grow in their new little pot, but they are now growing their own new growth with a vengeance. It's pretty, pretty cool. Their new roots are going to be coming very, very soon as well. So this whole little cluster of keikis, you can see I've tied it down with a wire down here. Same procedure. I didn't use the Velcro last year, but same thing. Make a cluster, all the bases, everything on one level. Potter up loosely and lava rock. Eventually, the roots will start absorbing water. From here on in, it's just plain RO water until I see the roots absorbing water. And then, if you are in a similar situation, I highly recommend that you consider them from here on in seedlings, and they get the same kind of care as seedlings do. I will fertilize these around 150, 200 parts per million because they are rather large cakeys. They can take it. This little cluster is already up to 300 parts per million, very close to the mother plant herself which is at 500 parts per million. So these two pots will also live with each other down at the deep south, high humidity, bright shade all the time. All of this is my care for these new keikis in the coming days and then possibly when I get the film keikis taken off and that video airs, I shall link that one in the description as well and also update you on the progress or the lack thereof of our class of 2023 Dendrobium Berry Odor keikis. Don't like to do this, but I've got to love and leave you. I appreciate that you joined me for this little soiree <laughs> or matinee, however you wish. Thank you so much for sticking to the end <laughs> for many, many reasons. <laughs> the intro being one of them. I appreciate you so much. Have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.